You guys, we're one step closer to solving the mysteries of Mars, again. Anthony here for D News, and you know, thanks to the Curiosity rover and, of course, the Spirit and Opportunity rovers before it, we've been getting more and more information about Mars every day. But one of the most useful finds yet didn't come from any of our fancy rovers. It was found right here on Earth. A Martian meteorite recently found in Morocco is very different from any that we've seen before. Now, it's pretty rare to find a Martian rock on Earth, but it's not as rare as I would have thought. We have apparently found about 110 of them. This one is pretty special though. It's called NWA 7034 because it is mad gangsta. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, the NWA actually stands for Northwest Africa. That makes more sense. It's a black stone about the size of a baseball and it's 2.1 billion years old. Now that's a time of Martian history that we don't know much about. And if you combine that with the fact that it also contains 20 times more water in its composition than any other Martian meteorite we've found, and you've got something really interesting, a rock that is potentially from a time in Mars's history when it was still dry and dusty, but it also had moisture in the ground or atmosphere. Now this is exactly the sort of thing that we sent the rovers to Mars to find, and it was right here on Earth. They even used equipment similar to the stuff on Curiosity to analyze it. Can you imagine NASA that day? I think we're getting real close to finding a breakthrough with Curiosity if we can just, no, it's cool. It's cool, I got it right here. Some Somebody left it in the sand. Of course, there are a lot of questions and variables that come into play with a meteorite. There are issues of contamination of the sample on its trip, and getting a genuine rock from Mars without the stresses of space travel from the same time period is obviously much more valuable. So it's not like the meteorite makes the rovers obsolete, but this is still a great find, and I am excited to find out what we can learn about Mars's past from it. You can read more about it on the D News blog, where Irene Klotz did a full write-up. How similar do you guys think Mars really was to Earth? Because I would love to think that a few billion years ago, it was not that different from us at all. Share your theories with me down below, and subscribe for more D News updates.